You want to beat Colt every time. You want to be the best assassin. However, you're not having much luck. Well, luckily for you, I've got a perfect video to help you out and help you become the best assassin on Deathloop. Let's get to it. There you are. Boom. There you go. Another dead Colt. So when the game first came out, I completed the first day and thought instead of playing through Colt and the main storyline, I wanted to become the best Juliana and really understand what it was about her which would make her difficult to defeat for when I play through Colt myself. And with that being said, I went through a lot of games to begin with and lost so many. I didn't know how to play the maps. I didn't know how to really face against Colt who has three lives and Juliana only has one. However, with that being said, <clears throat> through a lot of testing and trialing, I managed to reach my highest consecutive win streak, which was 9. Unfortunately, I didn't get to 10 because I lost due to lag. Now, if you have played Juliana, I'm pretty sure you may have experienced a few games where the lag is very severe. That is the only downfall right now to the multiplayer experience. Other than that, I think it's very, very fairly balanced. But with that being said, as you can see, I have got 48 wins with 29 defeats. I'd say probably about 7, 8 of those were due to lag. But hey ho, I'm not complaining. And on the right hand side, you can see on there my highest win streak. It says it was seven, obviously, because there's no achievement for eight or nine. I think the next one would have been ten. But anyway, let's get into the loadout. I'm making this a very nice, simple, and quick and easy to follow loadout. So we're going to start off with our traits on the left hand side. So we've got Turtle Shell, greatly reduces damage taken. We've got Spring Healed, love to double jump. And then we've got never say die for maximum health and juiced up for maximum power juliana against colt you really do rely on your abilities so it's key you have juiced up out of any of these perks but obviously max health definitely going to help as well so as weapons we've got the limp 10 with open wounds shot enemies take damage over time extremely useful but we've got on there hail fire so greatly increases the fire rate Door shot greatly increases the range in which the weapon is accurate and mind leech. If Colt can't use his abilities, he can't use his teleports, he can't use anything else, he's pretty much sitting ducks and it's going to be an easy kill. We've then got the sniper. Obviously open wounds again. With open wounds, it makes the sniper a two shot kill. We've got quick draw and we've also got crack shot which make the ADS um, and swapping weapons super super fast so you can get those shots off nice and quickly and lightning strike the distance of which your weapon does full damage is greatly increased now i don't know the stats however it is very useful and as i said has a two shot kill at pretty much all ranges and my favorite gun the heritage gun with the inferno slugs releasing the gas and any of the shots detonate it as well this is my main gun and hopefully in the video i'm going to show you next which i'm going to record you're going to see a lot of kills with this gun of course has its book shot and then has its fire slugs as well you can alternate between the two if you've never used this gun you may be thinking oh seems a bit complicated but i assure you it is nice and easy now on here we've got damaging an enemy greatly slows the start of their health regen that stopping power we've got sure shots increases the range at which this weapon is accurate very useful for this weapon and also quick draw so we can get those shots off nice and quickly now onto the abilities we've got carnesis so that's the one that allows you to throw and drag doll your enemy about and the most key ability upgrade to have on this is suspension that's gonna throw your enemies up and keep them there for about two seconds two seconds is a long time on this game and you'll see me pairing that ability up with the limp 10 for an easy kill and then of course shift whether you're chasing down colt or running away from him very good to have now i've got airborne on this so if i'm making a massive jump and falling off a cliff i can press it midair it will halt me and then i can reposition and also i've got reach extending how far i can teleport nice and easy now with that being said let's find a game and show you how it all works put together now loading up to a game of course you already know what map you're going to play and what part of the day or night cycle you're playing it and that's very important um for knowing how the game and map is going to play out so i know it's night time and i know again we're going to be going for igor so he's going to spawn um 
Oh, he's going to be spawning behind me. There he is. He's right there straight away. So he's going for quite stealthy. He's holding his knife out. I'm not sure if he's seeing me. I mean, he should have seen me by now. Okay, so that's the heritage gun, and of course, if I swap over, I can then cause that explosion there. Right. So first thing first, you know, he's made it. He's making it quite far. I'm gonna just booby trap it. That way, I don't think he's gonna approach him this way. To be fair, I do think he will try to come from this way though. I'm just going to booby trap that. Of course, our main goal is protecting the antenna. So that's exactly what we're going to try and do. There we are. Already killed one Colt down. And I didn't even use the main part of the gun. That's not... Oh, there we are. Okay. Okay, so I actually have no idea where he's going now. I think he may be invisible. There we are. And that's the second death right there for him. Now I'm low on health. But oh, I've got... It's a 1v1 right now with one life each. However, I do think it's best if we just go... There we are. Knowing where the fizz pops are are very, very, very important. So you can make a quick dart for it. But you see how we just push him with the shotgun? And I pushed him back with the carnesis. Boom, your best friend. He was just here. Okay, let's get out the heritage. There you go. Another dead cult. Panda Plum 16. You are no match for the ultimate Juliana. And that's how you do it. That's a match of Deathloop. I'm going to cut this up, trim it. But guys, if you did enjoy, please drop that uh, follow. Um, comment what you would like to see next. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.